MercatorDB is a somewhat more complex um, tool than Google Maps are. Oh, difficult to say what complexity is, but it can do some other things. Um, and uh, if you want to use CartoDB, the first thing you'll have to do is that you have to sign up for it. So you go onto their website and uh, you just simply click press sign up and you'll fill in your uh, information about who you are and what you are. I am already signed up. So um, I can simply just go in and sign in and it now knows who I am. I, ha I have however completely cleared my uh, profile here. So I have no data. If I look at my maps, it's empty. If I look at my data sets, it's empty. So I have a completely empty profile on my CartoDB. What I want to do is that I want to use CartoDB in my, um, my QGIS and I need my username, so this one, and then I need what is called a API key. Uh, the API key is up under here and you have your API key and in that there's a box with the API key. Um, it's personal and it contains a combination of my username and password so I won't show it here but you go open this box and then copy the API key and you'll be needing that uh, once you go to um, QGIS. In QGIS you'll be needing to have installed the plugin we talked about earlier so we have talked about this plugin called CartoDB I have installed it and we have it up under my web here. We have our car to DB. Um, there's a bit of a peculiarity about that. That is, it is there, but not all of the things are there. There are also some things hiding in this menu here. Um, if I can drag things out here. Um, this one here is already connected to me. Um, and Eva has my icon here. But if you are a new one, that one will be empty and you just say create new. You say new, you type in your username and your API key and save it. Then you'll get a connection just like the one I've got here. So this is now my connection to CartoDB. And that's quite important to have that up and running. The next thing we really want to do is that we want to load up some data to CartoDB. And I'll be loading my municipality data up. So I just got rid of my KML files. So I go to my CartoDB and I upload layers to CartoDB. And I choose these two layers I have here and say upload. So what happens now is that they are uploading these files to my CartoDB profile. So now they're finished and what has happened is that once they're finished I have um, they have loaded them back. So now I've got two CartoDB layers and two shapefiles. The bottom ones are the shapefiles and the top are my CartoDB files. So if I now want to change my map we could also go and see if we go and look at our data sets and update this, you can now see that I have now got two data sets on my CartoDB. So those that I had in QGIS have been uploaded to CartoDB and I can start working with them there. But I can also work further with them in my um, QGIS. So I, if I now say this, I don't want this boring map, I want a nice looking map. So I'll say properties and I will style it based on my gradiated, based on my income. Oh, average income there. 
uh, and I want to do it on quarter hours and I want to have 10 and classify that now and I want to have my nice color range so the red are the poor people the blue are the rich people again and I'll just uh, get rid of those two layers and maybe I should also add layer labels on this one and I think I will label with my ah, same one again so I've now made a nice map I'm using um, QGIS's mapping tools and I can now go up on my web and my CartoDB and I can say create new map and uh, I have these layers here and uh, I can then say I want to make a uh, map 1 uh, test map I make it public so everyone can see it these are the layers that are in it and they are uploaded so it doesn't cost me extra space to create new maps on layers that are already there and I just say create and it has, is creating the map and it has created the map now and I can say copy link and I can go to my web browser and paste my link to my newly created map and uh, hey presto I now have this map served in CartoDB and I've got all those standard tools that we have so I've got all my green grocers in there and I have my different uh, municipalities so I have now got a nice standard map I can use. I can furthermore, if I want, go into CartoDB here and then edit the data set in here, um, both the data and uh, it will come with some default views, how it wants to map it. But I can map the data set itself inside the CartoDB. So basically I've got those two possibilities um, for working with it. I can uh, format it in QGIS and then load it up to my CartoDB or I can, once I've done that, I can go in and change um, it using the CartoDB tools. But the idea of all of this is that we don't want to use the CartoDB tools because we have learned to use QGIS so why should we want to learn to do an R tool if we haven't got any special wishes so it's really simple to load up data to CartoDB you ensure that the data sets you're using for your map are loaded so you go up and say upload data to CartoDB so these two layers I'm sure that ensure that they are uploaded and once the layers are uploaded I can then create a map and then I can make that public and have it served from Carto to B and it's so it's really an efficient way to make a simple map available online